Hello everyone, I am Ayush Khandelwal and I will be presenting my first design challenge for the fall 2021. The product I chose was a shopping cart. Initially, I started to analyze the shopping cart and its features. I understood that it was performing its function at a good level. But in some cases, it did not have the technology and the features required in this modern age and day. During a brief analysis of the activities performed by any user while using the shopping cart, I saw some opportunities which could be worked on. We all know that there are a lot of different types of shopping carts already available in the market. For example, these five carts. The bottom left one is a collapsible cart. The upper left one is a smart cart having its own payment system. The middle one is a double basket system cart. The right top one is a cloth card which is easy to carry for the user. During my analysis, I also look for flaws or chances on improvement in each one of these cards and try to overcome them. The first problem I saw was these cards are generally overloaded and there is no proper segregation of items and everything is mixed randomly or they are underloaded and not utilized to their full capacity. The second problem is during the checkout at the payment counter as one can sometimes encounter long queues. I personally have waited over 30 minutes in a queue. And this problem is currently solved by a lot of supermarkets or stores with the self checkout counters which are efficient but still encounter long queues. Or people have started introducing smart cards, cards which have a payment system but are very expensive compared to the traditional card. Next problem we face is after the checking out at the payment counter when all items we purchase are put in a plastic or a polythene bag which harm the environment are not at all biodegradable. Other problem with these plastic bags is they tear up easily and everything falls down creating a mess and these are also sometimes very heavy to carry around. First thing I looked for was the standard dimension of the shopping cart which were approximately 864 mm by 676 mm by 416 mm. Afterwards, I started looking the dimensions of a shopping basket, which were 225 mm by 334 mm by 487 mm. The reason I look for these dimensions is because I wanted to use these baskets in a trolley. And in this way, items can be easily organized and can be segregated like arranging fruits and vegetables in one basket or putting canned products in one basket and milk products in another basket. This way we can have a good segregation and we can carry these baskets easily and efficiently. Also, they are easy to carry and they don't tear up and they don't break easily. They can be reused again and again. So I adjusted the dimensions of the cart according to these baskets. So after working on the new design, I introduced you to the new shopping cart. So in my final design, I got rid of those permanent steel baskets and introduced these portable baskets, which can be easily fitted on the side rails. The cart can accommodate up to five baskets, meaning the items can be segregated into five different sections, two on the top and three below. If the user cannot carry these baskets, the other option is that they can carry normal cloth bags or a normal backpack. The side rails have small hooks, 6 on the upper section and 8 on the bottom section, which can be used to hang the backpacks or the shopping bag. The other situation which the user can face is when there is a big box like a folded mattress or furniture, which are generally very heavy, heavy and does not fit within a traditional shopping cart when they are added with other products. For this situation, I have provided space between the rails and the baskets can be pushed to one side and there is still enough space for these big boxes. So this makes the space very flexible creating many layouts that can be used by the user according to his or her need. Next we have a space for mobile phones which is very necessary in today's time as everybody has a phone and I have used this to my advantage. As I have replaced the expenses system on the smart cards with these mobile phones. Also, there is a wire which charges the phone simultaneously connecting the phone to the card. 
when the phone is connected the app for the store will automatically start pre-installed on the phone and can be used to scan barcodes or finding direction towards the aisle or the product items can be easily added to the shopping list and can be seen exactly like lists seen on websites of these stores user can prepare their respective shopping list in advance before visiting the store and get the quickest and shortest way in the store the phone can also be used for checking out and pay paying for the item similarly to online payments or use the tap feature using the nfc on the phone which is very popularized during the current pandemic also there is space for cup holders and a small squarish cutout to put a second phone or keys there is also empty space in the middle where the user can put anything like a paper which has a list of products that he needs to buy or wallet or anything during the design of this cart i also realized that there is a lot of scope for people who can just put the items in the basket without entering the product or scanning the product in their checkout menu for this problem i provided a laser system that can detect when somebody puts an item in the basket without adding or scanning the barcode it would give them an alert that he or she has not scanned the barcode and if they try to go out without entering the product in the checkout list then the cart can alert the staff the display section has two displays first one is a smaller upper display connected to the laser system that will display the name of the product when it is added or this small display will alert the person that the product has not been added to the cart the second display is a bigger display which can generally be used for showing new or current offers that are offered by the store it can also show directions towards a product or aisle which can be simply searched on the phone and lastly this display can also be used for admit advertisements and other stuff